Hello and welcome back to some more of uh, Stalker OGSE. I've just uh, taken a look at the PDA and uh, I've just seen the arrow connecting to the next section in the map. I'll just show you. I haven't been here yet. That's uh, the Darkscape, so... Uh, that is where I'm going to go. There are things in this area that I could probably do, small things, minor quests. Uh, but I think it's about time that we looked at a fresh area. Right, so I think I've got to go towards the abandoned car park, whatever it's called. I can never, never remember its name. And then uh, journey towards where that suit was that you picked up for... Uh, I think it was nimble. Do you know, from a distance I thought that might have been an artifact. <laughs> I think I've been there before, actually, that bit. Alright, they look friendly. It's always a relief. That's probably the guy I spoke to in the last video, actually. I did it off camera, actually. Uh, I was trying to find Tolik. Ah, that's Petrua. Yeah, I was trying to find Tolik. Um, or Nimble. Because if you speak to either one of those and give them a bottle of vodka or sell them a bottle of vodka, uh, then the teleporter for the access to the Freedom Warehouse where the crossbow's kept uh, in the Wild Territory uh, is then accessible, but uh, at the moment that's not accessible because I haven't spoken to them. And they may be dead, I'm not sure if they are. But I've since found out that apparently in the army warehouses you get another chance to uh, access that again. So hopefully I'll be able to do that because I would like to complete not absolutely every side quest but certainly a good number of them. Oh, it's a cat by the looks of it. From a distance, they can look like the pseudo dogs. to the Psy area or something. Quite relentless the uh, creatures that appear when you know when you're under Psy attack. Right, so I haven't been to Darkscape uh, in this particular playthrough. I'm not sure if I've even been to it before. So this is a... I think this is a completely fresh area for me. So this will be blind. Now, as I understand it, I think there is uh, mission quests in this section. Actual... Uh, really try not to say uh as much as I do, but I, I 
but uh, I find it hard not to. Um, but yeah, I think there are, yes, part of the map I think you can find here or speak to someone in here. Meet with the searchers in the darkscape. So there is relevance to being here. And the last time I came to this area it was a quick go at Call of Chernobyl, which I've barely touched ever. And um, an old version of Lost Alpha. So you'll have to excuse me for being particularly slow and methodical around here because this is what uh, I think a fresh area calls for. Searcher. Meet with the searchers in the darkscape. Chatterbox went to the darkscape for a meeting with a group of hunters. He heard they had a map showing how to bypass the brain scorcher. Some sort of texture flickering going on, but nothing nothing bad at all at the moment. And when I've played this area in other instances that I've previously mentioned, uh, I found it quite difficult, actually, quite tough. I suppose it's the lack of familiarity with a particular area. Yeah, that never helps anyway. Just a bit on my guard at the moment. want the G36 rather than the Saiga at the moment. Right, so that's our first sign of life as a boar. spotted me. These uh, boars in this mod are really weak. Uh, in uh, SGM 2.1 you'll find them much much uh, more resilient and robust than that. Too much to, uh, so in my opinion.
really not too sure what to expect. Well, I'm expecting there to be some military at some point in it. Uh, but I don't know if that's correct or not. Anomalies that could catch me out while I'm talking away. Something I should uh, also be careful of. That's very likely to happen. Couple of flesh pigs over there. I think in the Lost Alpha, uh, the, the one that came out about three years ago, I haven't actually played anything of Lost Alpha since it's been, re uh, the, you know, the director's cuts come out, despite uh, having done a, you know, a brief guide on it. There used to be these uh, generators that you'd find in the older version of Lost Alpha. I suspect they're still in the, uh, you know, the uh, the director's cut. But I've always loved the look of those generators. I've always wanted to be able to get inside one of them. I remember that building. I think rings a bell. Anyway, I remember there being a build. No, I'm probably thinking of something else. So there's a fair few flesh pigs roaming around. But this is going to be a dark scape ramble for a bit, not just verbally. Physical ramble as well. Hmm, interesting. be honest, at the start of this episode I didn't really know where I was going to go, but I just looked at the map just before I started speaking and I thought, yeah, that'll do. Let's go there. Looks to be an, an uh, electro anomaly there. What's that? Something I haven't experienced before in here. Sort of a funny... Any kind of sound. Not sure what that is, whether it's some sort of warning. Right. Ah, oh, right, my health's dropping, I think. Right, it's settled down again. So, going near that's not a good idea. Interesting looking object, though. Appears to be floating. Maybe some sort of zone affected. Anomaly kind of uh, laboratory or something. Did that affect my suit? No. This is kind of like a more open red forest. Right, I'm not sure what... Some sort of a... Well, an anomaly by a... Probably a stash of some kind. Uh, 
Oh, I know I saw. Oh, there's the electro, yeah. It's always satisfying to kill on the last round in your magazine. I think the other one's just uh, scarpered. Quite sure what they're up to. Kind of glad that I bought so much ammunition now at the bar. Although I suppose that this could really run down pretty damn quick. Anomaly half. Is it safe safe enough to read about that at the moment? Quite tempted to, but might try and see if I can uh, I don't know, approach it or something. Must have died from bleeding that one. I'm more concerned about clearing them out, even though they're not that close. Because the last thing I want is, uh, you know, if you're trying to read something or just get near something and your attention's. turned away from them and then they jump, they pounce on you and then push me into an anomaly or something. I think I will read about that uh, anomaly half actually. It's probably in my interest to do so. Ah, oh, there we are. Anomaly half aggregation of anomalies of various kinds in a small area. This phenomenon is very dangerous and very attractive because it is considered that there can born, it can born or bear unique artifacts. I think that's trying to say. Right, that's got my attention then. I think looking at the layout of this place so far, you're going to get a lot of mutants. Which might be better, actually, than lots of accurate military. Problem now is how to get closer. Maybe it's... well, I'm assuming it's possible. Now that looks like a place that could have... Uh, some enemies. Right, that is close. I mean, even, even if I threw one of these bolts into the nearest uh, part of the anomaly, how do I know that if I 
when I jump through and I'm not going to get sucked up by the next bit. Unless I'm supposed to use these rocks to jump. And if I can get right next to it, how the hell do I get out? But, I don't know, for the purposes of uh, experimentation, let's give it a go. It's going to make a hard save. Right, this will probably result in my death, but uh, if you don't try, you don't know. Oh! Got closer than I thought I would actually. Just hoping it will spin my body up and then blow it up, but I don't think it's going to. All oh, right, it's a burner anomaly as well. That's the least of my worries. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get to this. I might have to forget about it actually. No. Ah, uh, here we are. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. Thing is, if it's got a unique artifact in there, then you know what it's like. You really want to get your hands on it. Uh, I just don't see how I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe it's possible this way. No, no, it's not possible. No. I haven't got the height to get there. I wonder if you can jump from there to roundabout where the game over sign is, maybe. Sometimes with these kind of things you find a pathway between them, but I just don't think there is one here. I think I'll forget about it for now and maybe... Maybe I'll meet someone that could advise me on it or something. Uh, if I do make it into the centre, as I say, I mean, how the hell do you get out? Yeah, I thought I could hear something. Maybe you can access that thing by getting up on the rock and dropping down, maybe. But that still doesn't answer how you get back out again. Well, I guess I'm almost not surprised, really, that there's uh, there's no one here. Kind of expected there to be, but it seems to be quite a desolate place.
All right, you can get up here, but it's no way near over there. Yeah, it looks like it leads nowhere. So boars and flesh pigs. Quite interesting the size of the rocks that are over here. Certainly different uh, darkscape to what I remember in uh, you know in other uh, versions. But I'm liking it so far. Uh, I'm mixed feelings about what I've seen of darkscape in other mods before. Kind of a bit of a something and nothing kind of area, really. I think that's just the uh, sunlight on the yeah on the bushes. Where's that artifact? Oh right, just in front of me. Uh, that looks to be something I've seen before, I think. Oh yeah, it's just a gravy. A lower end ranking artifact. Ah, there looks to be some sort of a building over there. Now, I, I bet that is populated with someone, something. Probably the people that I'm supposed to meet, maybe the searchers, whatever they're called. I should imagine at best they're going to be neutral.
Right, so according to the map, the... Well, that's the artifact searcher. I was getting a bit confused, I think. Meet with the searchers in the darkscape. Right, I've got no idea where they're going to be then. Alright, that's a neutral... I just suddenly clocked him. A neutral bandit, maybe? <laughs> 